The farmhouse had walls three feet thick. A staunch reminder of what it took to live around there and what I refused to get used to. The wind, the dust, the heat, the excoriating sun. I've been on the island two and a half weeks and I'm still not sure what attracts visitors to that locale. The island itself I can understand. Winter sun, beaches galore, plenty of space and a safe laid-back atmosphere. It's the Canary Islands tourist mecca of Fuerteventura. Most of the tourists are corralled in enclaves along the east coast. There, on that barren plain where the ocean views are cut off by hills, and a range of mountains separates the inhabitants from the more populated areas, they cannot be described as anything other than inhospitable. Yet there people dwell. The holiday let, the last of a smattering of farmhouses that calls itself a village, Tefia, my island getaway. A rational choice at the time I booked, a Friday as I recall, and a dreary English afternoon in June, the sun struggling to send its light through layers and layers of cloud. In my cramped one-bedroom flat, ignoring the windows fogging and the radio that the tenant below insisted on playing all day and half the night, I surveyed the island on the screen and considered my criteria. I wanted no beach, no people, no noise, no distractions. A list of negatives, true, but I had enough mayhem going on inside me without suffering the usual gamut of holiday amusements. I wanted a retreat, and I was booking a holiday for good reason. I was booking a holiday to straighten myself out. 